Good morning, everybody. Yes, it's good to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Uh, it's my very first webinar, uh, so I hope it goes all right. Um, I was uh, curious when I saw that uh, it had to be fun and light because uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how learning is not always fun, yeah, <laughs> or not always light, but I hope that doesn't put you off. Uh, this is based uh, on a small scale study I conducted um, two years ago uh, with students at the military school in Brasilia where I work. I wanted to find out uh, if uh, the teachers we had there, the English teachers and the students in second grade, if they had similar expectations, um, similar wants, similar needs uh, compared to teachers. So I wanted to compare their uh, opinions. So what I had, you know, I had 11 teachers. Uh, at the time, there, uh, they were 10 uh, women and one man. They had been teaching English for a long time, as you can see. Some have been at the school for uh, about 30 years, a little more. Uh, and there were 94 students, okay, 38 girls, 56 boys, from 15 to 18. Although most of them, you know, when they are in second grade, they are 16 and uh, 17, so 15 and 18 are exceptions uh, to the rule. Uh, okay, so what I did then was to uh, develop a questionnaire uh, which had similar questions. They were not exactly the same questions, but they were related, okay? And I wanted to find out when they had same, uh, same, the same opinion. So uh, as you can see from the slides, uh, well, these are the four questions that coincide. So, I will use English in the near future. So nobody seems to have uh, any questions about the need of knowing English, of learning English. So this was uh, unanimous, okay? So all teachers and all students said they would use English in the near future. And because of that, they thought that learning English was very important. Uh, what uh, also you know, coincided uh, was um, the opinion the students had and about their, their own participation in class and what students thought of students uh, as far as participation was concerned. So all of them said they should participate more in class. Uh, these, uh, I forgot to say that when for opinions to coincide, we had uh, some degree. So like they had to rate four if they thought that, uh, if they strongly agreed with the statement three if they uh, only agreed, four, uh, sorry, two if they more disagreed and, uh, than agreed, and one if they totally disagreed with the statement, with each statement. Um, students were more positive when it came to learn writing and reading uh, at school. Uh, you will see that when it comes to speaking and listening, they don't have uh, the same opinion but they were uh, very, um, let's say, more positive about that. Maybe that's because we tend to emphasize reading and writing, I, and I would say reading much more than writing at regular schools. Uh, it's different in language courses, uh, I know, okay? But uh, when it comes to uh, regular schools, reading is strongly emphasized together with grammar and vocabulary. Uh, the other things that were similar, uh, or, or quite similar for most, uh, most of them, was I would like to have daily English lessons. Uh, they, they thought that the amount of English we have at school was not enough for them to be able to uh, become fluent, okay, or, or even to write something more fluently without the help of the teacher. Uh, Students were satisfied with their learning in general, even though girls were more satisfied than boys. Uh, students were not very satisfied with students' learning, though. They thought they could uh, do more if they dedicated more. Uh, something that uh, surprised me when, um, okay, when, uh, I'm sorry, okay, when I was uh, checking the results was the fact that not everybody agreed uh, that participating in seminars and or conferences would have an impact on teachers' uh, performance or on teaching uh, itself. Uh, boys and teachers were more positive regarding uh, participation of teachers in conferences. Girls were more skeptical, as you can see 
uh, from statement seven. Like, I believe there is an impact in class if my teacher participates in congresses and seminars about the teaching of English. So maybe uh, we could tell our students more about the things we do um, th that we do uh, no, outside the, the classroom. Uh, well, then uh, we had opinions that strongly collided. Uh, the first, for the first seven slides, uh, and there were 12 statements altogether. So, uh, well, okay, so that, I, sorry, I got a bit confused here. So the first okay, slides I showed were when opinions coincided. Now, when do they collide? The material used strongly helps learning. Uh, that was a shock to me because I'm a materials writer, uh, and students were more uh, positive when it came to material. They thought material helped them learn. Teachers uh, were not so uh, positive. Uh, maybe this uh, refers to the material we are using at the time, which teachers thought was not totally adequate to our audience. Uh, but the question, as the question was for, uh, about materials in general, I thought it was a bit shocking. So uh, as a writer, uh, I think we, we should also ask teachers about what they want. Okay, it might be a good idea to, to check with them okay, or to find out how they feel about the material they are using, uh, something that publishers could do, something that we as writers could do as well. Then, uh, something that was also different um, comparing students and, uh, and teachers, I would like to have longer English lessons. All teachers wanted to teach longer lessons. They thought the time we have at the school was uh, limited, but students were happy with the amount of English they had in class. That might be because the, for them, English is just another subject. So they have many other subjects at the school. Uh, at, the at school, at the military school, they have 12 different subjects in second grade. So English is just one of them okay, for, for these students. Okay, and there were uh, variations, okay, so it's possible to learn in speaking and listening at school. So as I mentioned before, students are more positive when it comes to writing and reading. Classes should totally or mostly be taught in English. Uh, teachers thought that it's important to use English only in class. Students were not that confident. Of course, there are students who are more fluent and they want uh, lessons to be more demanding, but there are also students who have great difficulty in understanding what to said in the classroom. And my teacher could be more demanding. Uh, girls in general thought the teacher could be more demanding. Teachers and boys said the level of uh, demand was okay for them. So, uh, then uh, the second part of this uh, study was uh, to find out what students considered cool at school. So we have, a okay, and it was not a surprise, uh, listening to music, watching movies, playing games, using readers, talking in pairs, groups, and uh, doing pronunciation activities. And what they considered boring is not a surprise either. They had writing, doing grammar exercises, homework, using the textbook, working individually, and tests. Okay. But when it comes to uh, the usefulness of these activities, what do students consider important for learning to take place? They had basically things that they found boring. Okay, so doing exercises, working pairs, sorry, there's a mistake there, writing, homework, and trying to use more English in class. Okay, so you see like doing exercise and writing were considered boring, but important for learning. So to sum up, okay, in general, students' and teachers' opinions do not diverge as it's usually thought, okay, so they coincided in most cases. Learning is not always fun, it doesn't have to be, and it's important that students know that, even though I have a feeling that they know that already. Okay. I think my, my time is up, okay, thank you very much for joining me on this Sunday morning.